Hello everyone, welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Today, in this episode of WIT AAA Questions with Solution, we're going to be looking at some questions of mathematics which were asked in the VIT Engineering Entrance Exam for the year 2013. So we're going to be looking at some of these questions and we're going to discuss the solutions that go along with these questions. So let's look at our first question for today's episode. If n denote the set of all natural numbers and r be the relation on n cross n defined by a comma b relates with c comma d if a d times b plus c equals b c times a plus d then the relation r is asymmetric only b reflexive only c transitive only d an equivalence relation so which of these are correct so we have the relation as a comma b relates with c comma d such that bc times a plus d equals ad times b plus c and the relation is between is, and the relation is defined on n cross n so in order for a relation to be reflexive we need to prove that a comma a belongs to r so in this case that means a b should be a comma b should be related with a comma b so if you were to use the condition on the left hand side that is b c times a plus d so b a times a plus b is equal to a d times b plus c so over here a d times b plus a d means a times b and then times b plus c so that's b plus a so basically it's one and the same thing whether you change the order or not in addition and multiplication the order does not matter so therefore reflexive so the relation here is reflexive so that means you can consider option b to be correct right but also d can be correct so let's start looking at the other relations i mean so the other properties so next is symmetric so in order for a relation to be symmetric a comma b belongs to r implies that b comma a also belongs to r so in this case if a d times b plus c equals b a times i mean basically b a d times b plus c equals b c times a plus d so that means a b is related with c d then if we were to take c d and a b and that's basically um c b times d plus a equals d a times c plus b when you change the order it's b c times a plus d equals a d times b plus c so both of these are equal so that means r is symmetric so now in this condition we have already seen that r is both reflexive and symmetric and so that means the first three options are incorrect so that means the only option that works here is option d an equivalence relation because in the other options it means symmetric only reflexive only transitive only so if it so if a relation is symmetric only it means it's not reflexive or transitive but over here we know that r is both reflexive and symmetric so it has to be an equivalence relation However, the condition for being an equivalence relation is that R should be reflexive, symmetric, and transitive at the same time. Let's find out how R is transitive, just for the sake of understanding. So for R to be transitive, A comma B and B comma C belongs to R implies that A comma C also belongs to R. So that means we have AB related with CD such that AD times B plus C equals BC times A plus D so in this kind of relation it's very difficult to compare it you know 
um, directly. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some tweaking here. So AD times B plus C can be written as ADB plus ADC equals BCA plus BCD. So basically we're multiplying across this bracket. So now that you've got that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to rearrange the terms here. So we're going to take the terms with AB common. So that means ABC minus ABD on the right hand side. So basically this term goes to the right hand side. And on the other side you would have ADC. I mean basically it's you can write ADC as ACD. My, I mean yeah minus BCD. So now you can take out AB from the left hand side. So AB times C minus D equals, you know, CD times A minus B. So therefore you can write AB divided by A minus B equals CD divided by C minus D. Now, according to the transitive condition, B comma C is also belonging to R. So that means the element CD is related with another element, say EF. So that means CF times D plus E equals DE times C plus F. So once again, we're going to do the same thing. CFD plus CFE equals DEC plus DEF. So <clears throat> we're going to take the terms with CD on one, ha one side and the terms with, you know, EF on the other side. So basically CED minus, I mean, CEF minus EFD will be equal to CDE minus CDF. So now we take EF on one side, so EF times C minus D equals CD times E minus F. So EF divided by E minus F equals CD divided by C minus D. So now since we have the relations, AB divided by A minus B equals CD divided by C minus D, and EF divided by E minus F equals CD divided by C minus D. Well, in this relate in the, with these two relations, you can now equate them correctly. So you can equate them easily. So AB divided by A minus B will definitely be equal to EF divided by E minus F. So now that we got that, let's reverse the steps that we did in order to get to this relation. So AB times E minus F equals EF times A minus B. So that means ABE minus ABF equals EFA minus EFB. So when we, you know, rearrange it so that we get plus on both sides, you get ABE plus, you know, EBF equals AF I mean, A, E, F minus, I mean, not minus. What would I be, what would I do minus? So it will be A, F, E minus, I mean, plus A, F, B. So now what we can do is we can take B, E on the left hand side. So that's common. So B, E times A plus F equals, we take AF outside, so AF times B plus E. So B times A plus F equals AF times B plus E. That means that A comma B is related with E comma F. So that means R is transitive. So now we know that the relation R is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. So therefore, R is an equivalence relation.
So therefore, the correct option for this question is option D, an equivalence relation. Now let's look at this question. If a1, a2, and a3 are any positive real numbers, then which of the following statement is not true? So the question is asking for a statement that's not true. So we have three statements here. Three a1, a2, a3 is less than a1 cubed plus a2 cubed plus a3 cubed. And then you have a1 by a2 plus a2 by a3 plus a3 by a1 is greater than or equal to three. a1 plus a2 plus a3 times one by a1 plus one by a2 plus one by a3 equals nine and a1 plus a2 plus a3 times one by a1 plus one by a2 plus one by a3 the second brac uh, bracket the whole cube greater than or equal to 27 so which of these is correct so if you were to look at each of the options option one can be proven to when we use this so a1 a2 a3 are real numbers and the arithmetic mean of these numbers will always be greater than its geometric mean. It can also be equal to its geometric mean, but it's always be greater than or equal to geometric mean. So the arithmetic mean will be a1 plus a2 plus a3 divided by three is greater than or equal to a1, a2, a3, and this is the cube root. So when we take three through the other side, you get a1 plus a2 plus a3 will be greater than or equal to three times a1, a2, a3, the whole raised to one by three. Now all you have to do is transfer, you have to cube both sides. And when you cube both sides and simplify it, you will get option one. So this option is true, which makes the option incorrect. Now what about option B? Option B can also be proven if we use this so we take 1 by a1 1 by a2 and 1 by a3 as three real numbers and again the arithmetic mean is always going to be greater than the geometric mean so that means 1 by a1 plus 1 by a2 plus 1 by a3 uh, divided by 3 will be greater than or equal to 1 by a1 times 1 by a2 times 1 by a3 the whole raised to 1 by 3. So 1 by a1 plus 1 by a2 plus 1 by a3 will be greater than or equal to 3 times 1 by a1, a2, a3 that is cube rooted. So the left hand side will become a1, a2, a3 times you know, a2, a3 plus a3, a1 plus a1, a2. So on simplifying, you will get option two. So when we use one by a1, one by a2, and one by a3, once again, option two will be correct. So option B is true, so that makes the option incorrect because we want to find something that's not true. So for option three, we're going to multiply options one and two. So that means a1 plus a2 plus a3 times one by a1 plus one by a2 plus one by a3. So that will be three times a1, a2, a3, whole raised to 1 by 3 times 3 times of 1 divided by a1, a2, a3, whole raised to 1 by 3. So as you can see, a1, a2, a2, a3 cube rooted and 1 by a1, a2, a3 cube rooted, well, both of these are, you know, multiplicative inverses, so they cancel each other out. What's left is 3 divided by 3, that is 9. So therefore, option C is also incorrect because this statement is true. So the only statement that is proven false is option D, a1 plus a2 plus a3 divided by 1 by a1 plus 1 by a2 plus 1 by a3, the whole cube gives 27. Now how is it disproved? Well, since the geometric mean will be greater than or equal to the harmonic mean, 
we will take a1 times a2 times a3, the whole raised to 1 by 3, as greater than or equal to the inverse of the arithmetic mean. So the inverse of the arithmetic mean is what we call the harmonic mean. So 3 by 1 by a1 plus 1 by a2 plus 1 by a3. So let's cube both sides. So cubing both sides, you get a1, a2, a3 times you will get a1, a3, a3, and then will be greater than or equal to 3 cubed is 27, and then divided by 1 by a1 plus 1 by a2 plus 1 by a3, the whole cube. So, so when you rearrange it, what you're getting is a1 dot a2 dot a3 times 1 by a1 plus 1 by a2 plus 1 by a3, the whole cube will be greater than or equal to 27. So, in our earlier option, in option D, it's a1 plus a2 plus a3. But over here, it's a1 times a2 times a3, and then the cubed expression gives 27, gives the least value of 27. So, this statement is not corresponding with option D, so therefore, option D will be the correct option because this statement is as we looked at the question, not true. Now we come to the final question of this episode. So if modulus of x squared minus x minus 6 is x plus 2, then the value of x, the values of x are. So x squared minus x minus 6. So the modulus of that value equals x plus 2. So now we have two cases. Case 1 is when x squared minus x minus 6 will be equal to the negative value, so a negative times negative of x minus 2, so the negative of x plus 2, that is minus x minus 2. So when we take that to the right hand side, you will get x squared minus x plus x will be 0, and then minus x minus 6 minus 2 will be equal to 0. So x squared minus 4 equals 0, so x squared is equal to 4, so x will be square root of 4, so the square root, so when you take square root, you can have both, both positive and negative values, so x equals plus or minus 2. So plus 2 the whole square gives you 4, minus 2 the whole square also gives you 4. So hence you have both positive 2 and negative 2 as the values here. Now what about case 2? So in case 2, we take x squared minus x minus 6 as equal to x plus 2, the positive side. So when we take this, when we take x plus 2 to the left-hand side, you will get x squared minus x minus x, that is minus 2x, minus 6 minus 2 gives you minus 8, that is equal to 0. So we have to split the middle term here, x squared minus 4x plus 2x minus 8 equals 0. So x times x minus 4 plus 2 times x minus 4 equals 0. So you have x plus 2 times x minus 4 as equal to 0. So that means the value of x can be minus 2 or the value of x can be 4. So from both of these, you know, from both these scenarios, we got the root values as plus 2, minus 2, or 4. So these are the three values that can be achieved when we take mod of x squared minus x minus 6 as equal to x plus 2. So since minus 2, 2, and 4 are the correct values for x, if we were to look at our options, you can see that option B would be the correct option. In option A, it's negative 4, so that's incorrect. In option C, it's 3 instead of 4, so that's incorrect. And in option 4, I mean, that's option D, you have 2 times 4 and 3, which is, again, not what we got. So option D is also incorrect. The correct answer is option B, minus 2, 2, and 4. So that concludes this episode of VIT triple E. 
questions with solutions. If you would like to learn more about our channel, don't forget to subscribe to it. And we also have other videos on you know, VIT Tripoli. If you want to access those, you can hit the playlist in the description box down below. To get the latest updates, you can hit the notifications button again present below the video. So until the next webisode, take care, stay safe, bye-bye for now.